Hi and welcome to Old School Blues Guitar. It's time for our classic electric blues solo of the month from May and June 2016. By request, I'm doing a lesson here for the solo from Bobby Blue Bland's Further On Up the Road from 1957. And the guitar player on this, I believe, is, is the great Pat Hare, who also played with, uh, with Helen Wolf and did some solo stuff. So let's go ahead and get right into it. He's in the key of F, the song's in the key of F, and I'm pretty sure Pat Hare playing the solo has a capo on the first fret. And I believe this is true because of the very first lick of the song, which can only be played in an E position. Rather than go through the whole thing and play it for you, I'm just going to start with the first phrase and then go through the whole thing phrase by phrase. Starts out with a lick like this. the first part. That first lick, that's the one that you really can only play in the key of E. First position E. And I'm sliding from the fifth fret of the second string to the sixth fret. And then I'm going to pick the open first string twice. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one. timing when he shifts from this is a little tricky. Listen to the original song and check out the tab. But what he's playing is he's sliding to the sixth, but he's picking the open string. That's the open first string. That's what I'm hearing. Now he could also just be sliding on the second string. getting a little bit of that open first string in there. Listen to it and see what you think. It's, it's got to be one of those possibilities. And then the lick he goes into... He's going to start on the 6th fret of the 2nd string, to the 4th fret of the 1st string, to the 6th fret, and then bend it. Bends it up, 3-fingered bend, and brings it back down to the 6th fret of the 1st string, 4th fret of the 1st string, and then 6th fret of the 2nd string, back to the 4th fret of the 1st string, and then he holds on the 6th fret of the 2nd string with the vibrato with his middle finger, 2nd finger, I assume. So the whole lick, whoops, let's just take it from the, the main lick. I think he does a little smear down the neck from the 6th fret of the 2nd string before sliding back in to the 6th fret of the 2nd string from the 5th fret. And he does that again. Again, listen to the original recording and check the tab. When I teach these solo lessons, I'm not doing this expecting that people are going to want to play the whole solo note for note. Although you could, it's kind of fun. But um, more importantly, I think, or more practically, I think you can take the licks, the individual licks from these solos and, and use them in your playing, which is what I like to do. So anyway, that first lick. And now he's going to slide um, up the neck. something like that, which is my favorite part of this solo. Really cool. So what I'm doing, just to help you out here, this is an F, second position bar chord, and I've got an F, F scale down there that I can use. And what he's doing is going to the 11th, 10th, and 9th frets on the first string. So when he finishes that last band, So he's picking on the 11th fret of the 1st string, then he goes 10-8 on the 1st string, and then it sounds like the 11th fret of the 2nd string, 
and then a little hammer on from the ninth to the tenth. I'm not sure which fingers he would use. I think it would make sense to use the second and third fingers since your fingers are all there, but you can, I tend to go to the first and second because I'm stronger with those. So anyway, something like that. Try it a couple different ways. And then he does it again. So this time he's sliding one, two, three, one, two, three from the tenth to the eleventh fret of the first string. Then eleven, ten, eight on the first string. So the first part of this lick. Let me do the whole thing in context. Here's that lick. Just break that down. One more time. And then he's going to come up here, down here. It sounds to me he's hammering on from the fourth to the sixth, back to the fourth on the first string, twice on the sixth fret of the second string, and then finishing up that lick on the fourth fret of the first string. So let's put that whole thing together. Right there. And again, listen to the original tune and see how he's doing that. And then he starts these, um, these E position licks, which you can, again, only play if you're playing in this first position E, because there's open strings involved. And he does something like this. the next lick. So it sounds like he's going fourth fret of the first string with a little kind of a bend. So it's fourth fret of the first string, open first string, open second string. That's what I'm hearing. Then he's going to go to the third fret of the third string, open second string, back to the third fret, third string. So the whole leg. And he's going to do this uh, twirl thing on the uh, second fret of the third string. So that whole leg. And then this leg. What I hear is that he's hitting the open second, open first, fourth fret of the second string. So let's put it all together so far, or at least this next part. This part I really have a hard time hearing for some reason, and I'm not 100% positive what he's doing here. Maybe it's really easy and I'm just not hearing it, or maybe there's something weird going on, but it sounds to me he's going to go open, second string, fourth fret, second string, open. Before he goes into that leg. And that's the next lick. So it's third fret of the third string, slight bend, open second string, bending up on the third fret of the third string, and then down, open, third fret of the fourth string, open third, third fret of the fourth string. Check the tab out. So the whole thing. That's what you're looking for. Play it slowly. So that's that's it. Let's play the whole solo so far. I'll try to keep this in time.
twice on the fourth fret of the second string. Then back to the fourth fret of the second string. Open. So that first part. Slowly. Then the third fret of the third string. Slight bend. Open second. And I hear a little lick like that. So he bends the third string, brings it back to the third fret. Open. Second and third strings at the third fret, double stop. And then he does a double stop where he's going to hammer on the second fret of the third string while also getting the open second string. So that whole lick. That's what I'm hearing. This is the next to last lick in the solo. One more time slowly. That's what I'm getting there. And then this last lick is kind of kind of trick, tricky. That's what I'm hearing. So he's going to go open second and first to the fourth fret of the second string and then open. That's what I'm hearing. And it's kind of a weird sound in there. I'm not sure exactly what he's doing, but I think he's doing a slight bend on the fourth fret of the third string and then the open second string. So the whole thing. He's going to bend up on the third fret of the third string. Bring it down. Open. And it sounds like he's getting something like that. Twice. Hammering on twice on the third fret of the fourth string. Those last, that last lick is kind of hard for me to hear, but I think that's pretty close to what he's doing. So again, and that's where the stop time comes in and then back into the next verse. I'm going to try to play the whole solo slowly all the way through one time. Again, my advice is to listen to the original and then go through each lick, use the tab, and then you know, see if there's something there that you can, you can use. So here we go. what I, I've got for the solo from, from Bobby Blue Bland's Further On Up The Road. Again, if this is the first time you've seen one of my videos, then I'm no expert on this. I haven't seen any of these guys play live. I'm too young for that. I'm just trying to figure stuff out listening to the recordings. And I've played a long time and I think I've, I've got the gist of it. But anyway, if it's not exactly note for note, it's pretty close and it gives you some ideas about what you can play and how you can play it in different songs in the key of E or F or wherever you might want to put a capo. There's some great ideas there. If you have any questions, comments about this lesson, let me know. If you have some requests, any song that you'd like to know the solo from, I can take a shot at it, try to figure it out. I've had lots of requests, so if you do request something, be patient and I'll get to it as soon as I can. Take care and I'll see you again in a couple months with another classic electric blues solo.